after much deliberation, whether I was going to come back and continue episode number three of Break 75. After the last two episodes, you saw Archfield, it didn't go great. You saw Conway, it went even worse. Well, today, today is the day. We're back, episode number three of Break 75, everybody. I'm down here, and I say it to a lot of places I've been to, this is one of my favourite golf courses, Delamere Forest Golf Club. I've had some good memories around here. Now, also, quick one. I've been practicing quite a lot, okay? I've been, I've been working hard on my game. I've never hit so many golf balls in my life since the last episode. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that transcends here onto the golf course today. It's beautiful, it's a little bit cold, a little bit of wind, but nothing too much, no real issues. Now, I'm being joined today also by a really good friend, Sophie Walker. Now, Sophie has got a smart golf brain. She might give me some words of wisdom today if it's not going my way. Either way, let's get out there. Delamere Forest, episode three. Let's go and break 75. Here we go. We're actually going to start on the 10th hole. Bat nine start. Well, Delamere Forest Golf Club is, is dry, so he's got to be careful of runouts. Um, you can get away from him. There's plenty of slopes as well. But it's wide enough off the tee and I've heard he can hit a few off the planet, so it should come in handy around here. Hopefully, I'll give him a good run for his money. Oh, be good. You right, at least you'll see some proper golf today yeah. from somebody. You put me off the right tees, I can play. I was hoping to be slightly closer on the first, not going to lie to you. Keep going. Ah, that's going to be a lot faster than that. Yeah, good two pots. Just, I'll just go steady, steady Eddie today. That's the plan. Pick up a few birdies here and there, but steady Eddie. Hopefully. Talking about steady Eddie. I couldn't have a more fitting partner for that today. As Sophie just taps that in for birdie. Very good, Sophie. Well done. Thanks. Nice little fade off those bunkers. Hello. Okay, I know it wasn't brilliant, but I feel like it's progress. We've got a little look at Birdie. I don't think I was far off, I just didn't strike it as well as I wanted to. Oh, I'm just not hit it. Take the par. Go on, go on. <laughs> Stop stealing my bloody birdie magic, please. Wait a minute, I'll rub off. Thank on you. you. I need to wait a go. second. Touch a bit of that as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, so well done. Two under. Wow. Yeah, par three, first one of the day, 12th hole. Uh, the flag's playing 150, but it's a little bit downwind. Now the flag's in a in a sucker pin position. It's kind of tucked front right. So the goal is not to go with the flag this early in the round. I'm going to go middle of the green. In my bag, I have four woods. I've got the TSI three in the driver and the two in the three wood. Then I go to my hybrids, which are my favorite clubs. I'm not a great long iron player. So ping G4 two fives in a 17 and a 21 degree. Next into the irons, longest iron is a four iron. I go tailor-made P770s. And then wedge-wise, I only carry two specialised wedges. They're Titleist Vokies SM8s, 52 and a 58. Putter-wise, Odyssey two ball. Oh, I bet that's so hard. <laughs> Keep fading. Right, I thought I'd jump this bunker, but it's kind of run up and actually run back in right into the middle. I'm not gonna lie to you, a little bit of a nightmare shot this for a lot of golfers, kind of the 50 yard bunker shot round to the flag there. Oh, I missed the bank, you are kidding me. Go 
cut it going. <sighs> Incredible tee shot. Couldn't, couldn't have placed it in a better position. And I hit three iron for positioning using the old noggin. Literally my favorite hole in this golf course. Beautiful little downhill. Had a hundred yards left into the flag. It's just not quite there yet. It's brewing, it's getting there. It's just not there yet. Ah, oh, frustrating. Get in. Well done. Oh. Well, that might be too much. Closest to the pin then. Let's do it. Sit. That's nice. Big hop. Yeah, it should be good that. Yeah, you can't mess with that, can you? It just kind of started straight right yeah. and never... When are you going to get an uphill putt? Well done. <laughs> it's as close as you've been. At the moment, I'm one over par through seven. I feel like the game's been a little bit more controlled, but still just a few too many kind of sloppy little mistakes, which if I can rectify them, I really do feel like I can get into a zone where I'm under par a lot more of the time. Okay, so after a fantastic drive, I didn't think I was going to get this close to the green. We've got a little kind of 40, 50 yard flicking. Why am I so bad at chipping at the moment? You've got to see me in practice. One day I'll put a video out where I'm just practicing. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm like, somehow if Sevy and Tiger adopted a kid, they'd be me chipping. Like that's how good I am in practice. Good leave. Ah, such a silly bogey. Should be phenomenal. Right, after one of my best tee shots I've ever hit on this hole, I've got 100 and 82 yards left into the par five ninth hole. Downwind, and the greens are fast and firm, or they're certainly firm anyway. Be good. Sit. <laughs> I could have hit nine iron, pitching wedge, gap wedge, lob wedge, and I still think they would have all got to the green somehow. Okay, after about two and a half minutes search, I've managed to find it, but I don't know how. Look at this. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Just kind of look right in there and you can just about make out. One, a golf ball and two, that it's actually mine. I've got my logo on this side. So I'm going to have to move this, but that's like a massive big branch. But I don't think that's going to move the ball. No, that's not going to move the ball. <laughs> And then move these little bits and bobs, making sure the ball's not moving. And the last little puzzle. 
look at that. <laughs> Got a par four, 310 yards to the green. <sighs> Not quite. Down the left hand side. Oh, I wish I got it a bit more back on the fairway because this ain't, this isn't easy. Oh, be sensational. Wow. Mark these words. That's the greatest golf shot I've ever hit in my life. Ever, ever, ever. Honestly, ridiculous. It's in there somewhere. It's in there somewhere. Honestly, that must have been really close to going in the hole. To be honest, I got a bit excited. I actually thought we were closer to the hole than that. But I can't grumble. I honestly didn't even think I was going to get within 50 yards of the green, never mind on the green, never mind 12 foot away. Yeah, I've got to tell you that. Get in. Didn't even give it a sniff. I'm gonna try and hit like a, a knuckle, a knuckle three wood. Oh, what a golf! Go on, ball! Pretty good. Pretty good. Just off the green, but it's smooth. I'm gonna put it. I think that's for safety. This is for an eagle. This could really do with, this could really improve the score, obviously. Come on. Take the break, take the break, take the break. Oh, are you are joking me. You are joking me. What I can say. I absolutely thought that was it. Dirty sauce, hello. First one of the day. Oh God, that was bloody close. If this is 90 flag, how far would you carry this self? I don't think you want to be carrying it much more than 75. Easiest four ever. <laughs> okay, very tough par three. This right back into the tee, 220 yards. The first hop seems to be quite hot, so I'm going to hit a little knuckle down for the iron. Okay. <laughs> right, have a full shot left in. <laughs> Gotta play a really nice one here. Simmer. Little dog leg left, 450 yards, straight back into the wind. Tough shot that. Blind, 210, about 220 yards into the wind. Very difficult, this wind is really making this challenge hard today. Okay, found myself just must have just rolled over the corner over the path and it's just on this other side. However, got a little delicate flick over this mound. There's no real miss into this green, left, right, short, it's all not great, so requires a hell of a good up and down here now. Oh, just needed to go a tiny bit more. Ah. <sighs> 
silly bogey. Similar. Oh, I'm dead. Well done. Very well done. Oh, so badly. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, after a good drive into this par five, I've not got a long way. Currently, with my score, to break 75, I've got to get three eagles. Three eagles, three birdies. So hopefully, I can get the first one here. Can you imagine if I make the first eagle on a break 75? Five I think it should. Oh, absolutely pathetic. For the first ever eagle on break 75. Yes! <laughs> That's what eagle sauce looks like. <laughs> Very <laughs> good, you. well done. Well done. Thank Good you. Thank you. Thank you. The dream is still alive. Need two more of them. I've got two holes left. Uh, Rick's just made his birdie, and he's played tee to green really well. Inside 100 yards, maybe wedge, so maybe about 120 yards. I think he's dropped four or five shots, and actually, that is where you need to pick up your shots. He's been working on his driver. That has worked fantastically well, but he just looks uncomfortable inside that 100 yard number and pitching. So that's what I would say, work on. Also, he's very up and down, isn't he? He gets down on himself quite quickly. So we're all behind him. He just needs to feel that when we're watching. But in terms of today and for the rest of the series for shooting at 75 or better, it's in there. He just needs to score better, um, play golf. Uh, maybe he's hit too many balls. And he said he's been practicing a lot. He just needs to get the scoring clubs working and he'll be fine. Because actually, if he doesn't, doesn't beat 75 today, he should have done. And that's a good place to be moving forward. Double bogey. <laughs> so after chopping my way down that last hole, <laughs> I'm now six over. Uh, nothing actually break, gets me to break 75 here, even if I get a hole in one. Now I wouldn't normally go for this green, but I'm gonna give it a, a rattle at it. Gotta cut the corner a little bit, downwind, 330 yards. Oh, it's dead. Full life! It stayed, I'm not sure if it stayed on. All right, that's the end of episode number three, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Bit of a weird one today. 79 in the end, seven over. But I didn't feel the way I hit the golf ball represented the score. I felt there was a lot more control in there. But yeah, the wedges need a bit more work. Um, it's getting there. It's getting there, slowly but surely. Uh, Sophie was amazing to play with, played some incredible golf. I feel like if I had Sophie's short game, I would never shoot over par. That's what I need to develop. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked it, enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. See you next Friday, 4 p.m. for episode number four.